Thank you so much. Please be seated for just a moment. I couldn't really know for sure until about an hour ago whether I would be strong enough or everything would be working for you, me. But I tried and prayed so hard. Here I am. Dear Deacon Norton Ange, your spouses, children, proud family members, other priests, and deacons, and friends of all, to this ordination class, your incredibly long eight-year journey to this moment is now history. <laughs> and your long sought-after ministry of word and service begins as soon as I shut up. <laughs> so proud of you for many reasons, for your patience and patient endurance, for your intellectual curiosity, your love for and your commitment to your church, and your desire to serve rather than to be served. Everyone involved in your formation and education has spoken well of you individually and as a class, and this bodes well for the future of our local church. I wish to thank your wives and family for the loving support of you while you pursued at one time what might have been thought of as an impossible dream. The joy of this woman belongs equally to you.
You cannot know the depth of my disappointment at not being able to do the ordination today. It was to be the highlight of my fall, but the Lord had other plans. And although on the road to recovery I still have a way to go, it's still unlimited in two ways. When the reality hit home, and the sadness gave way to the reality, there was only one bishop I wanted to stand in for me today. You have been raised to the diaconal order by one of Miami's finest priests, and the deeply pastoral bishop. We have been friends for a long time, and many of our younger priests have been formed under his prudent and watchful guidance. Please remember him always as your ordaining bishop. Pray for him in his ministry now and in the future. He would make an outstanding bishop of St. Peter's. <laughs> gave me the comfort and consolation that I needed desperately. And through the imposition of hands and the consecratory prayer, you have imparted on these 19 wonderful men the same spirit which 26 years ago took up its dwelling in you. Bishop Noonan, from the depth of my heart, thank you so much.